Okay, I'm going to use Desmos to graph some exponential functions and to make tables with them. So let's say we have an exponential function like y equals 2 raised to the... Now, there's two ways to say raised to the... You, we can say... Uh, we can do it on the keyboard by doing shift and 6. That's the caret up symbol. And uh, that gets you up into the exponent. And now to stay up in the exponent, let's say we were graphing 2 raised to the x minus 3, we have to put parentheses around it. So you can use shift and 6 to get up in the exponent. Or another way to get up to the exponent is to use the keyboard here that's on Desmos. So if I click on this keyboard down here near the bottom, then I can click the A to the B button, and now I'm up in the exponent. I still have to put parentheses around it, so I'll, I forget what I typed in, so I'll just say x minus 3. And then you can right arrow or just continue typing, and the next thing you type will be uh, down in the, uh, uh, not, not a superscript, not up in the exponent. So, so we have the function 2 to the x minus 3 plus 3. In fact, let's change it one more time and just say plus 1. So what this does is it graphs the exponential function, and um, it's based on the function y equals 2 to the x. So I'll graph that one real quick to show you what I'm talking about. So if you compare these two, here's y equals 2 to the x in green. Then um, you can see that this goes through the point 0, 1 right here. Now what this graph does is it shifts at 3 points to 3 units to the right. So if we think about this being shifted 3 points to the right, so instead of being at 0, it's going to be over here at 3. And then this is going to be shifted up 1 from this. So up 1 from this is right here. So you take the opposite of the value in the parentheses. So the opposite of negative 3 is 3. Or you can think what makes x minus 3 equal 0. Well, that's 3, and that's your horizontal shift. And then your vertical shift is right here, plus 1. So move it up 1. But uh, Desmos will graph these for you. This one here, the blue one, has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. You can see it leveling off here. But you can graph that by just saying y equals 1. And there's that horizontal asymptote graphed in purple. Often people like to graph horizontal asymptotes with a dashed line because it's not part of the graph. So we just hold it, hold down, click and hold down on the uh, thing that you want to change to a dashed line. And you can just click right there and make it a dashed line. You can even change the weight of the line right here and make it maybe only one point or however you like to do it. And you can change the colors there as you like. So there's the horizontal asymptote shown for this one. Now, uh, I think that's about everything that you would have except for making tables. So let's go ahead and make a table for this function right here. So to do that, I'll just um, click on this plus sign to add an item and make it a table. And to get this function right here, um, we need to copy this bit. So you can just highlight it. And then um, I just use Control-C. Or you could retype it in, but I'm going to highlight it, do Control-C to copy it. And then I'm going to go down here and do Control-V to paste it in. Now, there's not a link because this said x1. So you have one of two choices. You can make this an x sub 1, or you can just take the x sub 1 out by backspacing it. And now there's a link uh, between the left side and the right side here, so you can make a table. So now when you substitute a value in here, it automatically calculates it. And you can see that this point is on the graph right here. And if I want to put in some more points, I can do that. So there's the next point. And as I hit Enter, it knows the pattern now that you're doing. And it'll just continue on out here with these dots. If you like to change the color of the dots, you can just hold down on that and make the dots whatever color you want, and you can make them as big as you want. So big dots, you want to put holes in it, you like to make it an X, whatever you like there on that. So uh, it does a lot for you, and pretty much that explains everything that we need in this area.